Hi Gems, it's your girl Amber here and welcome back to my channel. As you see in the description bar and what I've named this video, honey, make sure you stop, get some chai, make sure you get yourself a little snack because it's going to be a long video. I always wait, if you've been following me for some time, I always wait till like the month of December to really go ham on purchasing new beauty products less about the makeup and more about skincare and we can do a skincare video um in the future if you guys are really interested in that make sure that you comment below and let me know otherwise i'm just gonna keep it pushing you feel me but nonetheless make sure you are comfortable honey because we are hauling sephora nordstrom and some goodies that i purchased online and let's just jump right into it so let's just start off with doing my Sephora haul first. I didn't get a lot of items from Sephora replenishment and some newbies, but nonetheless, I'm still going to share with you. First thing up, I did get Tarte's Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. If you were to ask me what my Holy Grail primer is at the moment, I would definitely say this. This is my third time making this purchase. You guys have seen it throughout my videos. Um, I utilize this primer a lot. Like I said, this is the third time that I've purchased this product. What I love about it is that it's pore filling, but I also love that it's mattifying. So not as stick em glue like Becca's primer because I have to use that only with certain foundations because it can be a little spotty. But um, this one smoothly applies onto the skin. It definitely, in my opinion, helps with my heavy pore area, which to me is like a fight against nature because she be trying to play me all the time. Um, and it really allows my foundation to stick throughout the day and I find myself blotting less and less. Like I don't even carry my, like my touch up powder with me or if I leave it behind, I'm not like, ah, I'm gonna look crazy all day long. So it's really been my go-to primer. I highly suggest you guys grab it. I know those who have been following me who also have oily combination skin, you guys are always asking me about my primer game and this has been the only one that I've um, reached out to. If I have more of my stick foundations, if you haven't seen in my hourglass review, which I was given mad shade, but realized that I needed to use a silicone base, then I'll go ahead and use something that's a little bit more like Smashbox or my YSL primer, a little bit more silicone base. But this smooth, um, slate cleanless primer, cleanless Lord, timeless primer from Tarte, this is giving me mattifying and it's giving me pore filling in one, so boom. Next up, I got a Murad, which is a skincare product. Um, this is the Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. The reason why I got this, one, I'm not even going front, we all follow makeup Shayla and her skin is bomb. Even though she's having a little bit of a moment right now because of how that Chanel foundation played her, 99.9% .9 of the time her skin is on point even before she puts makeup on. And I know you guys compliment me on my skin complexion, but my personal issues with my skin underneath like when I look in the mirror it's definitely my dark spots from me like trying to pop pimples or me messing with my skin or whatever have you um and I don't own any serums I do have quite a bit of face oils and moisturizers and things of that nature but nothing that's really working targeting brightening my skin and like addressing those dark spots so I went on ahead and grabbed it right now um Sephora depending on what level of um like membership or partnership like if you're a, a rouge or a vib um right now they're providing coupon codes for like 25 dollars off if you spend 50 dollars or more or 20 dollars off if you spend tw something like that nonetheless we all got the emails boo they came out december 2nd um they expire on the 14th so make sure y'all use that opportunity to say purchase something like this because this is a 60 dollar item and with 25 dollars off made it more worth my wild um, the size is about one fluid ounce, which is as much, um, foundation as we get. Um, nine times out of ten, most foundations are about one fluid ounce. It comes in a glass jar like this with a pump. Um, a little bit goes a long way. The, um, active ingredient is, I believe, wait, look, don't get me lying. A hydroquinoin. <laughs> it's about 2% of it in this product and it fades dark spots, age spots, freckles, evening skin tone. Um, and reveal a clearer, brighter complexion. And that was just speaking to me because that's just the items that I'm looking for. Like I have the things in the mask and the cleansers and the moisturizers that I need for my skin type, but I didn't have anything targeting dark spots. So I'm gonna play around with this one, see how I like it. I definitely was a little bit more drawn to purchasing it um, because I had that coupon because I don't know how I feel about spending $60 for like, 
I don't know. I mean, do I do it? It happens, but not frequent. And then the last item that I got from Sephora was an Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer. Um, I, look, this is when you said YouTube made me do it. I was drawn to this one from my girl Rosh Posh. Like she always talks about Anastasia's concealers and I'm like, wow, I have all that lip product and the foundations and eyeshadows, but I don't have any of the concealers and I wanted to get a concealer that I would use for highlighting, not for concealing, <laughs> but more in my highlighted spots, so under my eyes, nose, bridge, forehead, you know, the, the whole gamut of the highlighting area on your face. And I decided to get the 5.0. It comes in a nice little frosted container. Look, girl, why Lola just shaved me and was like, I gotta go, you talking too much. Um, it comes in a nice frosted container with a lid, kind of like what you would get in her gel eyeliner um, product in. But yeah, I'm gonna test her out. Um, I love the shade, I tested it in Sephora and this is definitely conducive for those NW45 and deeper skin tones for the highlighting of the areas on your face. So uh, I'm gonna check this one out. It doesn't, um, it does say that it's a full coverage concealer, helps mask and correct dark spots, discoloration and imperfections. So I'm definitely gonna try this one out. I'll let you know where I land. I got four, uh, I'm sorry, I got a 5.0 and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer. Next up is an item that I just recently got in the mail, literally yesterday when I was thinking about filming this video. So it definitely came right on time, okay? And that is the coveted, Artist Couture, Jackie Ina, what is it called? Light Up Your Night Highlighting Collaboration. So we all know that Mac Daddy is the proud owner of Artist Couture and he collaborated with Jackie Ina here on YouTube for her very own highlighter, honey chow. And uh, the beauty of this kit is, I'm just gonna open it up for you, it's so pretty. So there's our girl. Representing Melanative Ladies. And y'all see this highlight all the way from here, right? Like that's redunk. So she came out, ooh, I used it. <laughs> but uh, she came out with her full size version of her highlighter. It's like a deep rose gold called the bronze. And then you get four of her favorite highlighters that have already been produced from Artist Couture. So in this um, kit, you get Illuminati, Conceited, Sugar Daddy, and Double Take. So in my opinion, these are the ones that are gonna be most complimentary, yes, to every skin tone, but more for deeper skin tones. Um, because Ofra, or, or, Orfra, <laughs> she's also a beauty influencer. She came out with a very similar collection, but for our fair girls. So there's something for everyone. Um, this retail for $49.99. Um, I got a shipping confirmation the same day that I ordered it and it came in the mail yesterday, which was December 6th. And this came out December 2nd, just to kind of give you an idea of how they can play in no games. Okay. It's beautiful. It's, it is the highlight that I'm wearing today. Just take that in for a little bit. Take that in, receive her. It's beautiful. I mean, it's everything that I expected. I've always wanted to purchase from Artist Couture, to be quite honest, but I really could never justify the $27 one size. So when this kit came out, it's right up my alley because there ain't no way in hell I'm gonna go through all these highlighters quickly. Like this is gonna last me some years. I, I mean, you get, let me look in the back of one of the small ones. You get uh, 2.35 grams in the little ones. And let's be honest, this is like a little bit bigger than like most glitter containers. And do we run out of glitter? Like legit, do we run out of glitter? Never, never. And I have four shades and the smaller one and then the full size is 4.5 grams, which I mean, yeah, we could do a lot with her. Like we can mix them with oils and lotions and things, but she ain't going nowhere no time soon. So I felt like the $49.99 was a warranted cost. I didn't complain. I didn't feel like I wasn't bitching about that at all. Like it definitely allowed me to be able to test out others, but also support Jackie. I couldn't get my hands on that elf palette. Um, and you know, she's consistent. And in my mind, we friends. Okay, girl. So if, now it is a limited edition product. So if you didn't get your hands on it, look, I'm not here to tell you to keep an eyeball out. But let's just bring it on in bring, real quick, real quick. If these beauty companies is making a coin on some limited edition exclusive goodies, they're not going to miss the opportunity for another round of getting that coin. So just keep your eyes peeled. Make sure you follow Jackie, Max Daddy, and Artist Couture on, on Twitter. And I'm sure they're going to come out with it again. I know as a businesswoman, I would do the same, okay? <laughs> Run out, oh my God, create the hype, and then boom, release it one more time. I mean... Who's not gonna capitalize on that? Who? You? 
Next and finally, this is the one that's gonna take a little bit of time, ladies and gents. Um, I went bananas. It doesn't even fit in the screen. I went crazy at Nordstrom, you guys. And the reason for that is this. Um, because I purchased the most of my skincare products in the month of December to at least last me six months to a year, um, I just get the better price point. It's holiday season, so things are a little bit more discounted or you get a little more gift with purchase perks, you know. So let's just go through everything I got in no particular order because I'm really just going to be reaching in this bag and we're going to chat about it. First thing I'm pulling out is the Clinique Take the Day Away um, cleansing balm. I have been seeing this all over Instagram, all over YouTube, even some of my Snapchat folks that I follow. And I'm always looking for new ways to kind of cut down on my makeup removal time at night. Um, I love a smooth finish. I love it to break down my makeup. You know how I feel about Neutrogena makeup wipes, but they burn my eyes a little bit. So I was looking for something that I didn't feel like I was looking for like a sud. Cause sometimes we'll use too much products when we feel like we need to like suds up. You know what I'm saying? Like, get a little bit of lather going before we remove our makeup. This product is bomb. I did just get it two days ago. I've already used it a little bit, as you can see. Maybe not. Awesome. Maybe you can't. But I have, like, a couple nail digs in there. Yo, she melts it away. Like, I love the, Gar um, the, Garnier, the Garnier Macular Water Removal. Like, I'm still rocking with her on my eyes and the waterproof products but I really really like this like I have not been disappointed at all it's only been two days but I was just so curious about it because Manny MUA talks about it a lot um Rosh Posh talks about it a lot so from a girl like me to a viewer like you they ain't lying let's just they ain't lying so if you can get your hands on it it's about $29 see what you can do it's good stuff Okay. Well, I got something else from Clinique too. I did end up getting the Clinique Liquid Facial Soap Oily Skin Formula. I think this is about $17. But what I loved about it when um, I was really looking for another cleanser, you know I use my Neutrogena. But I like to use some brands collectively because I feel like they work better together. And this is just my skincare. Like try it out. If it doesn't work, don't invest again in the future. But what I love particularly about Clinique, and you know that I've been loving my moisturizer before my makeup, is I love how they segment skincare based on type. Not that every brand doesn't do this, but I feel like Clinique really takes the time to focus. Like if you got dry skin, girl, we got something for that dry skin. If you are oily, guess what? We got something specific for you. And that's something that I personally enjoy being a consumer is that I am buying products not that so damn universal but how can we all work together type product like no I'm oily you dry you clearly I can't use the same moisturizer as you because you dry you dry it's like let me stop so yeah I went on ahead and got the liquid facial soap oil skin formula from Kanique Kanique mm. Clinique in them. Anyway, <laughs> Clinique, um, because I got the cleansing balm. And obviously, after you use the cleansing balm, then you need to use your Clarisonic and you need a little bit of cleanser. So I went on ahead and tried it so that they could work together and see what it do for my skin. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Next up, I got the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base. So let's talk about this for a minute because you know how I just talked about how I love my Clinique moisturizer. Um, but I don't have a moisturizer for nighttime that's thick enough that's gonna penetrate i know we're oily girls but one thing for certain is that we still need to moisturize um and i've been loving my philosophy but then i'm thinking because i've been using it for the past couple of years that my skin has gotten accustomed to it so i needed something with a little bit more thick a little bit thick a little bit thickness to it you know what i'm saying um i test everything from Nordstrom before I invest. So I had already got a little sample size that I've been using for a couple weeks and I knew once I finished based on how my skin was feeling in the morning that I wanted to invest in it. So I went on ahead and got her. I don't remember how much she cost but she smells so good. It's like a lemony. Yes it's like a lemony lemony feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like and who doesn't like a nice refreshing scent before you go to bed? Because sometimes some moisturizers can be so damn medicated. Well, they ain't going to turn your boo thing on. He laying next to you. You smell like a damn, you know, like oxy pad or you smell like some damn been gay. You know what I'm saying? That ain't cute. That ain't really popping. You ain't going to be lit in the evening. You feel me? <laughs> 
So um, I really do like it for that. It says that it includes shea butter, vitamin C, and E, which is great for skin rejuvenation and plumpness and really brightening. It's rich in feel, never feel greasy. Uh, this moisturizer creates the perfect base for flawless makeup application. I personally have not applied it um, before makeup because I feel like it's almost too thick and I, I may have to test it like on a video where I'm not really going anywhere and doing too much to kind of really test but um, I could understand why they say that it's great for makeup application because it does leave your skin so smooth and it really penetrates the skin. I just really like it so I definitely suggest getting the testers first before you say, all right, Amber, I'm going to go ahead and invest. All right, the next thing that I grabbed um, is the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. Um, I actually purchased this because my husband has been using, honey, his lotion underneath his eyeballs. And he's like, my eyes burn. And I'm like, babe, well, you can't use lotion under your eyes and expect it not to kind of like seep into your your eyeballs and then your eyes burning so um i've always loved kiehl's it's always been a brand that has been consistent but i don't have any what was that like affordable eye cream um and i don't mean like drugstore level i mean obviously like on the high end i love my lancome but um most men when they see that little purple bottle or whatever they ain't they're like i ain't using a women's okay I don't know what that's about. So I went on ahead and tried this. Avocado oil is great. It's a light. It's um, it's a good moisturizer for the most sensitive areas of your skin, which is your eye, under eye skin. Um, I can't remember the price on this one, but like I said, I'll make sure to list it in the description bar below. But it basically says this creamy preparation with avocado oil gently moisturizes the delicate eye area. Um, and just culturally, he has dark circles under his eye. Just So I did grab it from him, but nine times out of 10, I'll be using it too since we share the same bathroom. And he always on this side with my skincare stuff. Like, ooh, let me try. So I'll keep you posted on how that works out. Um, I decided to get new brush heads for my Clarisonic. I got the two pack. You should be changing your Clarisonic heads every three months, ladies. I know we be trying to stretch it out because they $27 a piece. But then when your skin start looking at you like you're crazy and play you, then you'll know why. Because you're just putting that bacteria back in your skin and things are growing. And just follow the rules. Like when it comes to, just follow the rules. Okay, just follow the rules. Get yourself a new brush head. This is going to last me six months because I just switched out my one of my brush heads last night. And I got an extra one on reserve. Just do it. And I always get deep pores because what I particularly like about the deep pore head is that it, because I wear makeup every day, I want something that's really going to draw out any impurities throughout the day um, and not play any games. Like I need a clean foundation, a clean start to my day. So I love the deep pore for that and that alone. I'm going to show you a cologne that I got Joel. He, he ain't going to see this. So it's fine. I can share. I can share. This is the YSL uh anyway um so my husband bougie and he likes fancy colognes <laughs> it's like no he'll kill me um no this just smelled really good and you know when you smell a cologne and you know that once it hits your husband's ph or your significant others that you know you like mm, honey so that's the reaction that i got when i tested it he's had dolce and gabbana he's had um Mark Jacobs stuff. I mean, he's had, um, uh, what is, what's the Victor and, Victor and Rolf men's stuff and Prada and so forth. But I just want to try YSL. So it was recommended to me from a friend and damn enough, when I sprayed it, I was like, Jesus. So that's going to be like maybe one of his little stocking stuffers or his Christmas gifts. But I went on ahead and grabbed it for him. And this is the 3.3 fluid ounces, which typically lasts him about six months, three to six months, because yes, yeah, like I said, my husband's bougie about cologne, and he gonna use it. He gonna use it. Next, I got me another Laura Mercier setting powder. Um, I use one in my kit, and I was low on the one that I use at my, uh, <laughs> the one that I use on a daily basis. Like, as you can see, she's almost gone. Then this little damn thing broke. I mean, it's been driving me crazy, but one thing that won't happen is I'm not throwing her away. So I'm going to use this out, but then I have my backup, honey child. So she's here ready and willing to step up when her girlfriend runs out. So I had to get that as a backup and that's just the translucent and it does work well on all skin types. I use it in my makeup kit and it's never been an issue, um, whether it be a Caucasian bride, Indian bride, African American bride, Hispanic bride. So, um, yeah, 
she's good. She's convenient too because as much as I love my Sasha Buttercup, it takes quite a bit of time to get here from Trinidad. It does. I ain't gonna lie. I'll be all the way over here on the you know Pacific Northwest. It takes some time, and I need what I need when I need it. You know what I mean? My final purchase for me is I got me another Dior um, kit. It was just more expensive to get the fragrance kit that comes with the lotion. Um, and one thing that I want to put out there is that I bought the same kit last December and this perfume size only lasts me until like the summer because <laughs> I love Dior so much. But now that I have more fragrances, I can kind of put it back, you know, in rotation so that I don't um, run through it so quickly, but I never use the lotion. So that's about it for my haul from Nordstrom, from Sephora, and of course, our girl Jackie Ina's collaboration with Artist Couture. Um, that's about it. If you guys have any questions, make sure that you shoot me a message below. But until our next video, Gems, bye.